Is Mount Fuji about to erupt? Volcano said to be in critical condition after devastating 2011 Dohoku earthquake. Japan earthquake has raised pressure below Mount Fuji, says new study. French and Japanese scientists say Mount Fuji is at higher risk of eruption. Pressure beneath the volcano was increased by the 2011 earthquake. The researchers used an array of 800 seismic sensors to make findings. And they found it mimics conditions from last eruption of Fuji in 1707. While an eruption is not imminent the risk is clearly higher they say. In 2011 Japan was rocked by a magnitude 9 earthquake, the most powerful in the country's recorded history which together with the tsunami killed more than 15,000 people and caused upwards of 20 pounds and 20 pence billion, $34 and 60 cents billion in damage. But it seems the effects of the earthquake are not over yet, as the huge tremor may have disrupted Mount Fuji and placed it in a critical condition. The result could be an eruption that mimics the last in 1707, which bathed vast swathes of Japan in ash and caused untold damage at a time when the country was much less populated. The research was carried out by scientists at the Institute of Earth Sciences in Grenoble, France and the Institute of Global Physics in Paris, working in collaboration with Japanese scientists. All about Mount Fuji. At an elevation of 3,776 meters, 12,388 feet, Mount Fuji is the highest mountain in Japan. It is an active stratovolcano found on Hemshu Island that last erupted in December 1707. Known as the Hei eruption, this is thought to have expelled a billion cubic meters of ash and debris. Mount Fuji lies 60 miles, 100 kilometers, southwest of Tokyo, which in 1707 was called Edo. On 22 June 2014 Mount Fuji was added to the World Heritage List as a cultural site one of Japan's three holy mountains. For the first time they observed the response of Japanese volcanoes to seismic waves produced by the Tohoku earthquake of 2011. Their conclusions, published in Science, reveal how earthquakes can impact volcanoes and should help to assess the risk of massive volcanic eruptions worldwide. The work does not say that the volcano will start erupting, but it does show that it's in a critical state. Dr. Florent Bringia, lead author of the publication, told The Guardian. After the giant Dohokuoki earthquake of 2011, the researchers analyzed over 70 terabits of seismic data from the network. For the first time, they showed that the regions where the perturbations of the Earth's crust were the greatest were not those where the shocks were the strongest. They were in fact localized under volcanic regions, especially under Mount Fuji. The reason for this is likely due to fluids trapped under the volcano such as boiling water and liquid magma. Essentially the idea is that before this study we had very few methods to know the state of pressure of the volcano at depth, Dr. Bringia tells Mail Online. With this new method, we are able to get insights on how the interior of the volcano, the part between the magma chamber and the surface, is affected. We think that these are important in the preparation of eruption. The researchers found a high anomaly beneath the volcano, despite it being 310 miles, 500 kilometers, from the epicenter of the 2011 earthquake, suggesting pressure was building. However, Dr. Bringia adds, it's not possible within our results to know when an eruption will occur or what size it will be. We were just able to map the fact there is an anomaly in the partly pressurized region, so the volcanic risk in that region is high. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.